silly tales about ghouls chased away by garlic and vampires shrinking from crosses. He kidnapped young girls and kept them chained to give blood. Blood for her to bathe in and drink. And she bit them everywhere. No. And then she pushed white hot pokers into their faces. And when they parted their lips to scream, she shoved the flaming rod up into their mouth. Stop it. Blood. Beautiful neck. Stop it. <laughs> You're safe with me? I kill no one. Again? It's difficult to forget. Ah, you will. After a while, it'll only be the remembrance of a bad dream. And then the remains of a remembrance. More and more faint in your mind. I have seen many a night fall away into an even more endless night. Nights like last night. Who do you think I am? A kind of ghoul? A vampire? Oh, no, my dear. If you think these ladies are something, wait until you meet Mother. She's something else. us now if you dare down a rickety staircase into a dank dark basement what awaits the saturday night freak show <laughs> welcome back ladies and germs to the saturday night freak show podcast as we continue our threat of world domination on your internet radio i'm your host colin and i'm surrounded by the internet radio superstars Including Stefan, I mean Brent. Um, well, you just fuck you. You stole my joke, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Travis, did you say that? No joke for the week. <laughs> or did you think that? <laughs> no, I was going to do that. Uh, you stole it. Uh-huh. Sorry. Well, you could be uh, Valerie. Thanks. Uh, so <laughs> tonight's movie, I picked it. It was uh, Daughters of Darkness from 1971, a Belgian movie, but it's made in English with English stars. Uh, directed by Harry Kumel, who I don't know if he's done anything. <laughs> <laughs> After this, do you really need to do anything else? Yeah, uh, maybe. I, I did. Look, I looked him up, and he had like you know six or seven credits to his name, but uh, I am not familiar with any of them, and I'm not really familiar with anyone in the cast except for John Carlin, who was the original uh, Willie on. Um, Dark Shadows. I'll oh. say it was his name. Like Willie Loomis. Is that his name? Yeah. Willie he was the groundskeeper <laughs> Willie. Yeah, yeah. He's the guy who wakes Barnabas Collins up. And I want to say that probably at the time that this movie was made, Dark Shadows was still in production. So he was probably doing this like right, uh, you know, on and That's why hiatus. they just gave him a vampire movie. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. this yeah. guy. <laughs> he does vampire films. He knows vampires. So, uh, I guess really quick, just for an overview of what it's about, it's uh, John Carlin and his young bride. They just get married. Uh, They're somewhere in Europe. They're on a train. They stop off at a place called Ostend, and it's like an off-season hotel that they end up uh, staying at. And the Countess Elizabeth Bathory, Bathory? Batory. Yeah, arrives. And if you know your history, you know, she was the blood countess. Uh, there was a Bathory, famous story. Right? Yeah. She uh, is a legend, like the female Dracula, Countess Dracula. There was a movie, Ingrid Pitt made uh, Countess Dracula. And uh, she's, uh, you know, killed a bunch of girls way back in the day. And then they walled her up and killed her. Anyway, she's the main character or the main antagonist of this movie. Uh, she starts making moves on the young couple. Uh, and she has a fetching sidekick servant 
Jeff. Renfield? Like a, yeah, it's definitely a secretary, Renfield. Yeah, is kind of a, a loner? What was her name? Ilona. 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 Yeah. At first I thought they were like, oh, a loner. <laughs> like, <laughs> Ilona. Please come in. Yeah. Ilona. It's a movie with, uh, I want to say, I mean, there's primarily four characters in it. Uh, one bellhop, Pierre. Pierre. And Pierre. one uh, nosy lobby detective. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, just one inspector guy. He's got one scene, and then he just kind of shows up throughout the movie until he dies. He's following it. Really, like, a a nothing character. But he had an awesome scene. One awesome scene. This is what, like, this movie's a little frustrating to me, because I always, like, I always complain about vampire movies from the 70s, just because I've watched a lot of them, you know? I just like, ah, fuck, you know? This lady looks like a painting this fucking guy has. So, like, oh, my long-lost love, blah, 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 blah. But... What this fucking movie has is an awesome, awesome, awesome countess. She's awesome. Yeah, I fucking love played her. Played by every the scene. actress Delphine Sirig, which again I'm not familiar with her, but apparently she was in some movie called The Last Days at Marinbad, hmm. Mary Marinbad, hmm. which was an experimental art house kind of thing done in the '60s. It took place in a hotel. So again, the director goes like, hey, "We got a movie in a hotel, <laughs> Delphine Sirig, and it's got vampires, John Carlin." So it puts it together. He just had but slots yeah, to fill. She slinks through every single scene in this you really movie. You can't look away. Like yeah. you like watching her talk and interact with these other characters. Well, she yeah. looks like softer than everybody. Everybody looks like there is some seventies movie. The hair's a little like you know, hair's natural, not no product, whatever, whatever. You go to her and there's like a fucking soft glow over her, and she's like this porcelain white almost, and you're like everything she's wearing usually sparkles. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, very yeah. red. Yeah, yeah. She's in the uh, what are we calling it? The um, sequence gun. Yeah, or? but it's like the, the disco, disco ball, ball yeah, dress disco. at one point, which I thought was kind of really cool. And she like barely like she like like almost like whispers every line, but like you can hear it clear as day. You know? Yeah, <laughs> and she smiles like constantly, oh, which I think awesome. is part of her like uh, <laughs> yeah. the way that she you know even when she's telling you something that you know. If she's not happy with what you did, there's a big smile on her face. She's, like, I, working her vampire charm, like, at every moment. Yeah. At every moment. Yeah. <laughs> and I like how her scene starts off. Like, like I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they could have done it a lot better. But I do like the concept of of the Countess arriving at the hotel and just the bell, the bellhop dude who's, like, fuck, probably, like, in his 60s or something. He looks like a right? yeah. Pierre or whatever. Yeah. But he talks about how, like, how when he was a boy, there was a chick that looked exactly like her and said it was the Countess uh, Batney or whatever. And she's like, I couldn't be. I'm that, you know. That's my name. My mother. Yeah, probably. Perhaps. Like, yeah, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Yeah. But I, I just like that. I thought that was cool. I like how startled he was. Like, they could have played that off. Like, almost not even, like, had him, like, had her, like, him talk to her right away about it, you know, but still. Right, just still kept a, it as a, like, Yeah, just intrigue. something, it's like, like why is he looking fuck? at him like that? What's going on? And then explain it later. Well, which they do like, plenty of, which they don't, like, there's plenty in this movie where they go to a scene, and they leave a mystery, and they don't fucking return to it for the whole movie. And it's just like, <laughs> what was that about? We'll never know. It's on the cutting room floor or something like that. Well, I no, like the, uh, like what well, you were talking about earlier, the uh, detective, because there is this guy, I mean, he's riding around on a tricycle or yeah, whatever. Yeah, his bicycle. Yeah, uh, tricycle. Sorry, it's it's it is a bicycle. bicycle. <laughs> but he's, you know, he is aware that there are vampire murders or whatever over in Bruges, which is right next door to Bruges. Ostend, apparently. And uh, he suspects the Countess because, do you not remember when we met before? We never find out, like, where that Nothing. happened. I mean, no. she well, doesn't I only remember him. It was, it was when she was at that hotel again. It couldn't have been 40, 40 years. years ago. Why? That guy well, would have been he, so young. Well, he said he was a kid. Oh, uh, yeah. No, the, Pierre said he was a kid. Well, I thought he did, uh, too. I thought he said something. I thought that dude said something about was his the mother. the remember when we met before or something like that. I thought that guy said something about, like, how him and his mother, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember. Nowadays, there'd be a comic book that came out before this movie that would explain yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they yeah, should have point. fucking, like, at least one, because I thought that scene was awesome. The one thing that this movie has is music, right? And oh, they yeah, just know yeah. when to be like, dun, 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 <laughs> Yeah, I love the and score. And the guy's like, this. I know you. Dun, 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 dun. We met before. Dun, dun, dun. You yeah. know, I, just, I was like, yeah, holy fuck. They, holy shit, he remembers her too. But it's part of, like, I guess what I was looking at it as is, like, his character fills basically the vampire hunter, you know? Like, because yes. this movie tries to, and this is kind of why I like it, it tries to subvert your expectations of what you're going to get out of a vampire movie. It already knows that you've seen a fuckload of these movies because they were being produced all the time. 
time at this period of time. And so it's like, you know what? We're going to change this up so you can't see it coming. So he basically sets up the, I know the legend of, uh, you know, uh, or I know that there's a, you know, I'm, I'm coming after the vampire. I know there's a vampire. And then, you know, he's always like hanging around in the background of shots and, you know, spying on them. And then she kills him, apparently. Again, apparently. Not, not, not the best executed scene in the world, but just by <laughs> running him off the road. And it, so it's like, oh, I thought he was going to be the guy that in the end, you know, was going to come in and pound the stake into her heart, no. but he runs her off the road. Yeah. So you didn't see that coming. I think that was the intention of yeah. how they set his character up. The, you yeah. just see these, like, left turns in the story it and is. be like, huh. I didn't tons, see that coming. Tons of left turns. Well, because maybe, everything I expected from this movie never happened until well, maybe the end. But well, yeah, and with a left turn, you want it to pay off at some point in the movie where a lot of these left turns are dead ends. No they're, payoff. Yeah, because it's like it's almost like if if they if they would have just had a scene between the inspector and the bellhop about that whole situation, that would have at least given him one more scene where he's investigating this yeah. fucking vampire woman or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's very peripheral. But I like how she, like, so she, so she, what, so she shows up with her little, like, was she French? I just want to say she's, yeah, she's French. French. We'll she's, she's, like, she's wearing that little black French. dress. She, she has, has the little, haircut. like, bobby cut. Oh, God, she's hot. He, oh, she's, <laughs> a, she's hot, but I don't like when she opens her mouth, because that's when her mouth looks really wide. I, but that's a thing you gotta watch the movie to get. <laughs> but, so <laughs> So, so the idea behind this is, I mean, I, like I said, this movie is very like keen at like trying to drag out a mystery where you know the Countess is just like, look at the couple, right? Oh, they're so beautiful. If you didn't know it's the vaguest movie in the world. Oh, it is fucking vague. You're like, because you gotta wait. You gotta like, what? what? Well, and what also, she want from at her? that point. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I was thinking that the uh, Countess is his mother. Because dude's talking he, about his okay, mother. Exactly. Right? That whole storyline goes no way. Uh, I, if, if it does, I agree. Yeah, I it think was, it does. I have an no, explanation. Oh, hold on, okay, hold on. Let me. Not, but can if, I explain it, this real quick? Well, hold on. Well, I, 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 my thought ends real quick. If if nothing else, it does end real quick because I forgot what the fuck I was going to say about the mother. Uh, no, if, uh, Countess as the mother. If if uh, <laughs> damn, <laughs> go. <laughs> okay, so as soon as they get married, the first scene is t- they're talking about how, like, oh, the mother won't like her, you know. Because the the guy, he's like, arist- he's an aristocrat or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chilton Manor. Sweden he's from Chilton Manor. She's lowborn, basically. Yeah. yeah. And he marries her. Oh, right. If nothing else, I thought he was, uh, he, he was part of a uh, vampiric family, uh, but was denying it. Yeah. And he didn't want to tell her right. about it, Valerie about it. Because they totally make you believe that. They totally make you believe that, like, this fucking dude knows what's up. Right. Oh, this I never knows what's going secret. on. Well, you, what do yeah. you mean? Because then he calls. What are you like? Okay, he's like, he's like, yeah, I'll call my mother when we get to the hotel. Then he, like, walks up to the Pierre, the bellhop, and he's like, <laughs> Will you please phone my mother for some reason? Like I can't do it myself or whatever. And hands him a message like, "Say there was no reply." It's like, <laughs> okay, so obviously this guy's hiding some shit from his yeah. like, and he always has like really like fucking mean looks, like yeah. off into the like, you know, the the camera in the corner or whatever. The fuck. Yeah, but I, yeah. I when I first saw this, I read that as like you know because he had married this girl, mother just wasn't gonna like it, and clearly mother is a dominating presence but, in his. But life. then he puts like an. Like a fucking mean look on his face, where you're like that fucking guy. I mean, you yeah. automatically just like, oh, she's a sacrifice or something. See, like, see, I, but yeah, but when you I actually not, find out who mother is, I think it it, it explains all that. Because okay, is? okay, yeah. okay, yeah, I want to well, get to that. Mother's the dude on the phone that we never see. Again. Just a dude on. I, well, you see but him. Mother does exist. Though. But he's like, yeah, a, mother exists. When he when he finally makes the call, this, yeah. this is I mean, this is why I kind of like this movie because. It, it it you know it's going to be there's vampires in it you know I mean although they're vampires they? where they basically yeah try to get rid of that as much as possible yeah they do you know so it's like revisionist yeah, vampir- yeah. vampirism but I like the fact that like Stefan and Valerie have like this thing going on between them that is interesting for like the first half of the movie until the Countess becomes like the more dominant character yeah at least in the second half I think the the wind comes out of Stefan's sails once he actually does make the call to dreaded mother and then you find out like it cuts to Chilton Manor and in like this arboretum yep. the right word yes. there's this 
uh, I mean, what do you say? Flaming Queen. He looks like a gay dude. vampire. Yeah, it's a dude <laughs> in pancake makeup, like, and he's he this, uh, he's this fey lips. guy, like, you know, doing the, like... He looked like the governor he, of Louisiana made, for, like, the second season he of True Blood. He married and had a kid to continue his legacy, but other than that, he's gay. So, See, uh, I don't even think that. I don't think that Stefan... I don't think that's his quote unquote actual mother. Right. I think that that guy oh, no. it was you know somehow like Stefan is the rent boy. You know, he's like some kind of like kept uh you know partner. And so it's like he yeah. goes Yeah, that's what I get out of it. See, I was, so he and then he's like, you know, on like this travel through Europe and he's trying to like, you know, he meets Valerie and so he's trying to like have like a normal relationship and that's why he's fucked up like the entire way through this movie because he's got like uh he has an affinity for death like that's like well, way over the top. I don't know he if it's death. That's sadomasochism. What exactly. I want to talk about that just for a second. Cause yeah, that's what I that's what I thought the game vampire guy was talking about. I'm gonna keep. Wait, talking. just so we're clear, the, the guy is not, not a vampire. vampire but that is, is totally what you think. <laughs> that is what you think when you're watching this. It's like that guy's a gay vampire. Did you think that when you were watching it, Brent? Uh, I thought that he was a definitely a vampire. <laughs> he was like, so pale. Oh. I thought that Stefan was. Yeah. Like part of affiliated with him in some way because when he says you know like why did you possibly think that that could work getting married to this girl it's like what is he talking about like he's talking about like bringing a human into their you know their well, talking I, I, about bringing but, a girl into their well, like boy I love least, situation well, but I but, <laughs> thought they were talking about because once you start getting all into the S and M shit how you start to find out that like when they okay when they see a dead body who you know like was murdered by the vampire, drained of blood, whatever. Uh, uh, Valerie, was it Valerie? Valerie. Valerie sees that it excites uh, yeah. uh, uh, Stefan, and in a way, it kind of excites her, too. So yeah. you're kind of like, is this what he's hiding? The idea that he's like this crazy sadomasochist or, or whatever. And then I thought, I thought that the, the, the guy who's, uh, you know, called Mother or whatever... I thought maybe he was like I don't know the head of his S and M club I don't know just something right I didn't, I mean but uh, well I mean the, there's no at no point in time do you think that Stefan is part of any sort of like gay shenanigans going yeah. on because like the first frame of the film is him fucking this girl right? yeah apparently that was a movie first that to open a movie really? with a sex scene yeah. wow but yeah I, I mean did he's, not know that. he's established as a heterosexual oh. character and then you like it's like wait what the so he's doing what? Like, who's his mother? You know, yeah. so then it's like, oh, that's why he doesn't want to call mother, because that's like, you know, his sense of identity. But why don't, is, but you know, why don't they go into that? Because they don't go into that. That's why well, it's so here's frustrating. Here's an anecdotal like, thing. Fuck? Uh, apparently that was uh, so the scene with mother was shot independently of the rest of the movie. obviously, yeah. And uh, they. I, they, I can't remember if they didn't tell John Carlin or, you know, it's like it was an idea that came up to them like, huh, you know, it would be weird if like that was a, a man. So when John Carlin was shooting the scene, I don't think that he knew that he was, you know, he just thought he was talking to like, you know, his overbearing mother. Right. It was when he saw the movie later, like, what the hell? <laughs> But that was one of those moments in the movie, like where you're like, what in the fuck? And like, and that's like, you can't forget this movie after you've seen that. It's like, this is the one where the guy's mother turns out to be but a dude. It's a mother. Yeah. That, I mean, even the mother fact does exist. Mother, mother does exist. That is not. I it's don't just, think. It's a I don't think we're arguing that. But no, but mother exists. Like a female mother. Well, she's never mentioned. right, but she does exist. Are we? Sure? Well, I mean, yeah, but that he must have been birthed by a female. <laughs> yes, it's like there's another half to the to the gay vampire yeah, sitting never, in the arboretum. See, I don't know. Are I, you sure mother actually exists? I he, thought he, he was talks? being like tongue in cheek about it though, like tell mother because he knows that like the I mean, dude is he can't saying, call like, her anything else. Tell him that mother sends her yeah, regards. Yeah, he knows. Just, like, like, he's talking that's about himself. That? Okay. Yeah, 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 because he's like, are you there alone? You know, he hears that someone's with him. He hears the girl with him. So I think he was just being tongue in cheek. I don't think there is a mother. Yeah, he's fucked up. See now that now if you go back oh, well, and look at his behavior before that I think it's like so this is a guy who's like you know he's, he's trying just, to have normalness yeah, with her but he has like 
uh, fucking uh, crack running through yeah. like his psyche. But do you think that even I think like maybe even the director told him that he was a vampire in the film because like all of the reactions to you know like the blood and the like that all, was it's it's reaction to the to the sadomasochism yeah, yeah. like that oh, is the yeah, thing yeah, that yeah. is yeah. his shit. He right like there. cut yeah. his neck shaving. And he was like, oh yeah, right. Yeah, 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 <laughs> now yeah. that we talk about oh, it, yeah, so yeah, looking yeah. back on it, all makes yeah, fucking sense. Yeah. When He's the warped. countess starts getting at him, like they're, what they're describing is all the all the shit that the countess would do to the virgins, the, you know, the, just, an explicit just the torture, detail. Yeah, torture. Yeah, the detail of the torture. And he's like yeah. wetting his pants getting at that point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, I thought she insane. was getting off on it too. I thought she was. Well, she well, was too. Well, yeah, because were. she's the blood countess. I like the way right. that in that scene. No, 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 no. no. I thought Valerie, red. the wife. No, she was like, stop it, stop but, it. But, like I said, they kind of, because te- I mean, I'm fucking telling you, when they see that dead body, she's going to give them a hand job on the fucking bus. She is a little fucked up, too. Well, I, I, I think she is. I think, no, I think, I think she's she knows so, it, what she realized because she talks well, about She doesn't him. want to dive into it. R- well, yeah, she Once realizes. Once that, like, fucking she, can of worms. She realizes, she sees what he felt when he saw that dead body. Like, that triggered something in him. And she's like, I mean... At that point for her, that was like the tip of the iceberg. So she's like, you know, going into it. Like, well, yeah, you seem well, to the, like this. Let's see yeah, where she, it goes. She wants this, but she doesn't know how deep happy. that runs. Yeah. Well, they yeah. try it that night, don't they? That's when he hits her with the belt. Because he sees, no, like, he the hits count- her after he calls mother. And I don't think they're trying well, that. Well, yeah, I I'm talking, no, I'm talking, no, we're talking her, about yeah. when... We're talking about when the countess and uh, when they're explaining the victim, the torture, then... Oh. Valerie's like I thought she was getting into it for a minute but then she like freaks out like we can't do this and she like goes upstairs but then when does he hit her with the belt because she does go through with the sadomasochistic he fucking starts punching the fuck out of her hits her with the belt it's it's directly following the conversation with mother because after the scene where you're talking about where it was between yeah because the 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 um the Countess and Stefan have yes. their moment. Valerie leaves, goes upstairs. When he follows her up and the Countess comes up, she's like, I don't want anything from you. Like, just get out oh, of here. You're right. sick. And so he's like, well, maybe tomorrow, madam, you know. And so, and then that night, then she's like, you know, tomorrow, you know, when are you leaving or whatever? And he's like, I'll call, you know, tomorrow morning, I'll call mother. And then it cuts to the morning. She calls mother. And then after that, he stands is up when, and you see him make yeah, he fist. makes a fist and he's like, get over here and starts beating her with a belt. So it's like, whoa, what? So he beats his wife. Yeah, but, yeah. but they, were, try- but they were trying a sexual thing. It wasn't beating the wife. They were trying something sexual because that's when, when she leaves in the morning. I don't morning, think she knew at that point. No, oh, she is was, that the one where she, like, he flips away she, from her and the countess and Il- Ilona are out the window looking at them? Because there's one time when, that like, was later. That was no, that later. was separate. Oh, okay. Because, okay, when she, because she wakes up in the morning, she's got the fucking belt welts all over her, mm-hmm. right? She yeah. gets dressed. She fucking leaves. She's going to get a train and get the fuck out yes. of there. The countess is like, well, I can't have this. I got to, you know, she's like my girl or whatever, whatever the my countess is interested yeah. in for. Well, yeah, we don't know that yet. That's the mystery of the movie. But, uh. So she goes after her, and then Valerie says that she wanted to try it, but it feels demeaning. You know, so she knew that they were having a, that, that was a sexual act. He wasn't beating her. She knew it was a sexual act. She was just trying it because she did see how she, even she was turned on by the dead body. What? I think she was, she was, I think Valerie is turned on by his aggressive dominance of her. Somehow that. Like satisfying because that's basically the countess then subverts that, uh, makes the, Stefan weak by in, catching him in, in the a bus. setup, and then she asserts herself and becomes that dominant character in Valerie. But in the bus, in the bus, right away, she's like, "You got, you know, you got excited when you saw the dead body." He's like, "And you, you get excited by telling me that you know, you know." I mean, yeah, I, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like We're yeah, I mean, she's not fucking innocent. No, she's. she's not. She's creeping into the world of sadomasochism or whatever. And then she finds so, that she doesn't like it. So now that we, we've figured on the, the weird gay Stefan fucking thing, let's look at the other aspect of this whole fucking movie. Like, the whole point of this goddamn movie is... is The is, tree that everybody keeps walking through? No, the, yeah. uh, <laughs> the countess keeps referring to what men are. You know, men are these these vicious things, and women have love with each other, and like, 
I mean, it's cr- it's actually well, yeah, really she's weird. She's a predatory lesbian vampire. I mean, that's what you would say to your Which would you be know a better title for this movie. Predatory <laughs> lesbian vampire. You know, she's trying to she's trying to break the relationship between Stefan and Valerie sure. so she can have Valerie all to herself, or apparently replacing I- Ilona, yeah. who is depressed and wants out of this like yes. you know eternal <laughs> relationship yeah. with the count countess. <clears throat> So she has Ilona go sleep with Stefan. She goes to console Valerie, and then like, look, I'll show you what men are like, and takes her back. And you know, there, which I don't she, think she counted on the whole accident, the right? Dead. Yeah, that, she, yeah, I think Valerie was supposed to walk in and Stefan and uh, Ilona in bed. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. unfortunately, apparently, vampires in this movie can't go into running I don't water. Think she's a vampire. Well, whatever she, she is, is definitely afflicted with evil. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's yeah, yeah, a moment running water before when it's raining it. out and like Ilona's going to leave. I'm leaving you, and she's like, "You don't be ridiculous. Like, you can't go outside." Running water is like yeah. one of my favorite, like old timey, like anti evil recipes that they don't use in movies anymore. You know, it, it was supposed to be like they can't cross a running stream. That's yeah, why Sleepy yeah. Hollow can't cross the bridge. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, she, so I, I like that they use that in this, even though they use it in a shower. Yeah, which she's a stupid vampire anyway for staring at him while he's taking a shower completely naked. It's like, well, what do you want, woman? Yeah. What do you think is <laughs> so he's like, get in the shower with me, and pulls her in. You're like, no, no, no. And then uh, some really awkwardly staged uh, a comedy stuff. of errors happens. Yeah, yeah. which ends up with her falling on a uh, straight razor, shaving it's like razor, sitting straight. If she, up? Gra- she grabs it for like 10 minutes and yells <laughs> oh, I can't let it go she can't oh, yeah. that's the one oh. thing she grabbed onto was the straight razor <laughs> and that's almost a foreshadowing to a later death scene that is like that. if that's ridiculous this is tops that <laughs> with, the, with the bowl the crystal oh, bowl yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah the crystal bowl is crazy <laughs> we'll get there yeah, sure. yeah. So was that even a death scene I don't know it, it, well I think so but I, you know <laughs> I can see this comedy verse thing happening because like they're all slippery they've just been in uh, you know the bath there's tile sure, on the floor. Yeah, it was just very weird. But like the, How do you I set a straight ways. razor sitting straight up? The losing your balance, not being able to grab anything on the shelf except for the straight razor. Oh, then, nail polish, oh, toothpaste, oh, oh, as if, oh, as if it were oh. electrified, not being able to let go. <laughs> and then... <laughs> she turns the faucet on, then grabs her... And she, no, she grabs the electric razor, then turns the faucet on. Oh, it's just this, like... See, the comedy is in the in wide the shot of that scene. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Because yeah. all, it's all in close ups, but if you saw the wide <laughs> shot of that scene, that'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because then he's like, "Oh, I'll help you." And he like, like <laughs> right. slams yeah. her into the wall, he steps on the floor, you know. and then slides across yeah. the tile for ten minutes. He should have stepped on a fucking bar of soap. That would have like made it priceless. <laughs> like, no problem. I'll help. And then it like hits the wall five times, knocks <laughs> yeah. the straight razor on the floor, her mouth, <laughs> gulps it down, <laughs> starts burping up. She bubbles. dies, but with bubbles coming out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. The remake of this the scene. What we doing? Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so they burst in. It's like I like how I mean automatically it's crazy because automatically chick. Well, it's so weird because I like weird. how Valerie she's able to kind of stay. Cl- I mean, she thinks this lady's creepy. She doesn't yeah. like. That. She can see how this lady like you want to fuck my husband. She sees that clearly, right? That's why she's like, "You disgust me." No, you, that, she was saying that because I think at that the moment where she says, "Because you know the Countess and Valerie go off and spend some time together." And I think at some point, like, the Countess bends over and kisses, kisses her. her hand. And at that moment, I, the way I read it is at that moment, you know, Valerie realizes that the Countess, you know, has, like, a lesbian uh, attraction to her. So you disgust me. And I think it's, like, coupled with the fact that she's, like, obviously into, you know, talking about at least or entertaining, you know, like, these ideas of ghoulish, you know, murders and stuff. Oh, yeah. fascinating, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. ghoulish, but fascinating. There seems to be a, I mean, within the seduction, depending on, like, when Valerie's right around the Countess, she's, like, totally, like, you know, putty in her hands. But, like, the farther away she gets from her, she'll start going back to Stefan. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she'll start to forget all that, you know, and, like... Well, that, I think that really kicks in after, you know, it's like, so, I mean... You know, from Valerie's point of view, she's just walked in, found out, A, that, her, you know, her husband of three days, right, is now cheating with her. Yeah. That he killed, you know, he has this thing about, you know, murder, blood, and, Which you know, what, way, and he killed ever, this girl. Did we ever see where the straight razor actually went in? Because it's I like it went falling in her back. Uh, she was like holding back. it. She was holding it. And she put her hand down to, to 
stop herself from falling, and, it and then he falls on her, and it shoves it Driving into her back. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he apparently passed out for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> you get that like, nice oh, shot what this. have I done? But that's interesting, too, I guess, the way that Stefan responds to that is, you know, I guess from what we had seen of him right. set up to that, I expected he something more. It. Yeah, but he's, like, in shock. Yeah, he, he just kind of like goes and, and, you know, can't believe what he's done. And the Countess, like, immediately takes charge. It is like, just ordering, you know, Valerie around, like, here's what we're going to do. You're going to go do this and get the oh, towels. She, like, and fucking, the like, closet. shoves her head yeah, down. It was yeah, really yeah. weird. That's what she was becomes like... Stefan, basically, in that moment. She becomes this, like, dominant, physically aggressive, you know, just ordering this other girl around. But I love that shot. Well, I just thought it was weird how Valerie became so fucking submissive all of a sudden. Well, at that well, point, it was after she, that, after right. the... At that point, No, she's... it wasn't after the bite. It was. It, that was before the bite. I take that as maybe shock. She maybe. becomes more, like, trans-like weird. after the bite. I mean, she, for it's some, like, yeah, under, it's her, weird. under a spell at some point. It's either feels... side with, you know, the Countess or side with Stefan, Stefan that, yeah. who has, you know, basically just shattered her whole idea at of their point, future yeah. and everything. Yeah, like but it's, at that point she goes with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's shot in such a great way though, because in the foreground, half the frame is Stefan sitting on the edge of the bed, and he's you know just in shock of what has just happened. And then in the other half of the frame, you're down this long hallway into the bathroom, and you can just see this you know the Countess ordering her around, telling her what to do, and there's a lot of action going on. Yeah, it's a really cool shot. Indeed. Well, I think I the like hotel it. itself is like, you know, like well, a character in yeah, this movie. Nice I was going to ask you, uh, is was that the actual, I mean, the obviously the exterior and the interior, the interior were not the, the same. Exterior? I'm yeah. not was entirely sure. No, it's not a set. It's an actual <laughs> hotel because on the Blu-ray, they actually like that... take a walking tour of nice. the uh, nice. hotel again. Yeah, look right. Is hey. Pierre still there? <laughs> <laughs> Did they use it during like the down season? Because I mean, there is. Yeah. But that's just weird. That's like a weird idea, right? Like the off season or winter in Ostend is like there's nobody anywhere. Nothing. Nothing there. No. Yeah. <laughs> they have these huge wide shots of the hotel and there is nothing. Is that one of those places where, well, don't like Germans get like, man, they get like three months vacation from their government. Yeah. Everybody. They take them in the summer and they go to Spain. Everybody. Yeah. What's yeah. funny though is I heard that that's actually a way to kind of cover up that there's not enough jobs for everybody. You know, yeah. <laughs> that way everybody gets three months off. It's like well, a break like of a... labor. You know. But are they paid? Yeah, yeah, think, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, paid, it's paid. But it's all. I'm sure it's taxpayers. Yeah, they right? have the, paid, the motto you know? of uh, <laughs> taxpayers, work to live, not yourself. live to work. It's right. the inversion, yeah. I guess here. But, but it's still, it, I try it. Their GDP like doesn't grow at all. Compared to ours, sure, it was yeah. like double digits to theirs. There's a little like, history, yeah, <laughs> a little yeah. reality in our. <laughs> but it's always, but that's why it was empty. I I imagine. Well, there's a <laughs> thing that you know I still haven't narrowed in on what it means, but it's a symbol that's clearly in the movie and shows up multiple mm. times. Where uh, you know characters are always looking out the window and way in the distance, there's this one cruise ship going by yeah and i'm like is that a wistfulness for something it's like that's where the people are or like well, you know, she's we're thinking so, about leaving right we're so disconnected from yeah but i mean like the moment they get there i think they, they look out and there's this one you know because you're in a situation where there's no one it's basically them and the bellboy and there's i mean you don't see anybody else in this town i mean there's no sign of life anywhere but out there on the horizon there's a cruise ship that's when we need to cut away to the cruise ship with people going oi We've been here for five fucking days. When are we leaving? <laughs> There's always that cruise ship. Maybe it's a ferry taking people from places. That's what that I, I don't think. know. That's yeah. what I thought because she was getting ready to just leave when, when, when after uh, after Valerie got like uh, beat or whatever her little her little. I don't know though. I mean, it could... sadomasochistic thing. I mean, she was ready to leave and get on the boat, right? It's almost like you're under this, you know, vampire spell when you're at the hotel and like nothing. Like there could actually. be be people around i don't know but like you there's you don't see anything else no i, I don't think there is people there i mean i think it's yeah. like it's like some sort of like alter reality or alter Whoa, dimension deep, deep. and then i always you always i always deep. do but then when, <laughs> like colin say you know when they look out it's like you're you're looking out to uh to reality or to humanity i don't know something, something. That, i, I think know. it's yeah i can see that it's getting away from solid like solitude or whatever it's yeah. almost like it's There's almost like the overlook there are other, hotel, yeah, right? there are other people yeah they're like yeah. stuck there right for sure 
Well, another thing that struck me about this movie, and maybe it's just the time, but like seeing like these European movies, I just watched Tombs of the Blind Dead not too long ago, and that's a movie that takes place uh, in Spain, but it's basically these people are like vacationing somewhere because everybody in Europe is vacationing all the time in these movies. I mean, this is like the staple. Somebody's on vacation. They get on a train. They just decide, eh, we're going to get off here. I don't know how long are you going to stay. Eh, I don't know. Eventually, we're going to go somewhere else. <laughs> you got I'm time like, to adventure. Yeah, because, like, yeah. in my you mind, there's off. always, like, you know, you got to oh. know, you know, like, well, we got to be here by X time if we're going to take advantage of this. But to, in all of these movies, it's just kind of like lollygagging. Yeah. You know? Well, because they are all connected. You know, you can live. Yeah, you got to take a train. To, you know, like, you can live in it. France yeah. and, like, go to Romania. You know, mm-hmm. you can... And yeah. it always seems like money is not an issue. Yeah. Like, right? just spare Fuck no these expense. People. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because even in that other movie, you know, again, that I was watching, it was. They're probably the, weren't uh, as big as consumers as we are now. <laughs> you know? Wow. I don't know. They got the wow. fashions and stuff. Yeah, I'm just I mean, saying. I'm just saying. They still have like. Uh, but they know. didn't have like movies on video. I mean, you had to go to a theater. To go. I mean, people went out to do shit. They yeah. lived their life back in the day. Well, maybe because travel was cheap. If you get to like, probably that on too. a train ticket and just be like, eh, then, yeah. we'll get there whenever. You know, I yeah, don't know. back then, I would I would assume. Yeah, because these are like we're talking about like early there are early to mid seventies. Yeah. yeah. Technology. All right, so <laughs> okay, but then so, you get to learn uh, these exciting things about uh, you know European vacations. Yeah, you're like, you know so much in the seventies about <laughs> European vacations. Feast on I've seen giant. the movie. I did, like yeah. that, <laughs> I did like that. I knew what, where Bruges was before I saw it in Bruges. I was like, Bruges. oh, in Bruges, Bruges. Bruges. I've heard of Bruges. Bruges. That's where that Bruges. movie Daughters of Darkness takes. Bruges, Bruges. 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 on a job. You're in Bruges. And Bruce. So, uh, it's a fairy tale, please. I mean, so, I mean, I think, I mean, I'm not mentioning the idea that, like, you know, oh, the, I mean, I understand that the Countess is separating her from, but as you were talking about how the director, like, oh, what if this guy's gay, whatever. I'm telling you, I think that was like a, like a conscious choice to be like, like, man, yeah, you know, men, oh, fucking men, you know, they do. I mean, because, I mean, I'm not saying that, like, that's his point, but I'm just saying, because, I mean, you could see where the movie, whoop, totally goes that direction where she's just constantly drilling on men around Valerie. She's just tr- kind of getting under her skin about what what yeah. role men play in the world. Not just Steven or Stefan yeah. or whatever, but they're about war. But it, also, about, you know. but it also has the effect of, like, the, count, the Countess influence, you know, and because she's For drawing sure. Valerie away, encourages Stefan to become more aggressively masculine as far as, like, I am a man thought- and she is my woman and she is going to do what I say. And the Countess is like... You know, if, you know, would she if, actually do that? You if know, you let her go? Yeah. Would she still be here? Yeah, yeah. She's always asking these questions. So that's actually kind of interesting because I'm just thinking about this now. <clears throat> like, like he does assert, like, his masculine. If he's in some gay relationship, you know, like, oh, on the side. Oh, no. Yeah, because I didn't even think about that before. That you know, <laughs> He's a power bottom? Jesus <laughs> Christ. He's that, bottom. He's becoming, <laughs> that he's becoming more, you know, like... Well, you know, he, dominant. And he is until he kills uh, Alona. Alona. Yeah, but he Alona. makes that speech about like at the end where he's like, "She's coming with me," and like, "You're not standing in the way," and I'm a man, and she's the my, the woman, and she's coming. You know, I mean, that's how he's yeah. setting up. Yeah, he's like, know. "I'm a man." You are a woman. Woman and woman do not belong to him. Yeah, that is yeah, what he's yeah. saying. But, yeah, but then uh, he, now yeah, that you're thinking it, about yeah. it, it's like, but his situation <laughs> is that fucked up, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, so, yeah. Maybe he just needed it, that to see. I don't know. And then what does it get him? It's like, well, that's what I'm saying. That's, <laughs> that's what he's saying. It's like, he's like, what, look what this like bisexual lifestyle has led us to. Let us as a man and a woman leave this hotel. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, by that point, it's too late and Valerie has fallen under the spell. Yeah. Of the, she of got, the blood well, I like how this movie doesn't show bites and all that shit like that. I thought that was cool. Yeah, it doesn't no go fangs. for those. Right. Anything you expect from a, yeah. from a vampire movie. Again, it's it's you you know what it is. Yeah. But it just keeps it in kind of the shadows, vagueness off the I, side. I kind of wanted some fangs. I wanted something. I wanted like this, there's shots in this movie of people's mouths, and you're like, you're, you're kind of, you're waiting for it. Yeah. Like, whether it, whether the movie at this time knows that you're waiting for it, I don't know. 
and just decided yeah, they, to not they play did. to oh, what yeah. you're expecting. Because this is after decades and decades yeah. I mean, of the Hammer Hammers. vampire. Right. I mean, it was, you know, right. and even at that time, like the lesbian vampire phenomenon. I mean, if you go and look back, there's at least 20 uh, lesbian yeah. vampire movies made in like, again, it's all like French uh, French, Spanish. We will chronicle, chronicle them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're, you're the well, you've Just, seen the Vampire Lovers. Have we seen yeah, all yeah. seen the Vampire Lovers? I mean, that's seventy. I'm not. I'm I not. don't like vampires. Oh movies. man, no. I have a copy of my shelf. Sure Compliments. The trailer. Of, there you go. Yeah, it's all in here somewhere. The Vampire Lovers. Well, most of the vamp lesbian vampire movies that came out were all derivations of the story Carmilla. Anyone? Yeah, anyone? Yeah. She was the first vampire. Well, aside, there was Dracula, then Carmilla, then there was uh, Varney, Varney the Vampire. Yeah, I think Varney was even Varney? first. But as far as like, uh, Varney I, thought the Car- vampire- I thought Carmilla was before Varney. I, I could be wrong, but. So when does your book on lesbian vampires come out? <laughs> See, there you go. You got to make like a, we have to make a film, a lesbian vampire movie. Because they don't oh, make them anymore. It. They did make lesbian I mean, vampire sure. killers, a even- movie that was retitled Vampire Killers when it came out here in the States. Like three years ago, and I'm like, because the lesbian was gonna throw people yeah. off. Oh, well, yeah, well, apparently like, not. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny you though. It's like decrease sales of those tickets. Yeah. <laughs> the reason I like I hate lesbian vampire movies is because they work on me, right? Because uh, to me, a vampire is actually a representation of the foreigner, right? He's the the exotic foreigner. Like you know, you're just a dude with your woman, this fucking fancy guy that comes in and he talks like these, and he like you know he has these weird ways about him. You know, she gets attracted to the foreigner right that's what the symbolism of a, of a dracula yeah, yeah yeah it's dracula so I, it's fright night so that's like, why le- that's why lesbian movies work the same way on me because it's like a fucking woman knows a woman's body way more than you will ever know a woman's body <laughs> so when she's able to like take your woman it's like hey, hey she'll know more about a woman than you will ever know about being a woman that's a fucking threat well, to our fucking manhood. But that's what's I interesting like then. So these, so basically, the, <laughs> but the, I don't like those movies. The lesbian <laughs> vampire movie are made. They're made for men, not women, because it's it's exploiting a an insecurity that men have. But we, for some reason, we are also attracted to, right? We're attracted well, to the, you, there's well, the promise there's two of, beautiful things yeah, on two screen, beautiful like doing women naked things. and making out. Yeah, where was that? But at the same time, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, <laughs> what, what, what did you promise me? <laughs> That well, again, I, I appreciate how tasteful. It again, was. that's yeah. why I like the movie because it, it subverts your expectations. It really does. Again, at every, it's sexy. At every turn, it really does. It's yeah. a really it sexy was. movie. This even fangs but it's in the title. Like liars. Porno- it's not pornographic. <laughs> it's sexy, but not pornographic. Yes. I like how they handle it in this movie. It I'm is. Always I was surprised on sexuality because, and because cinema. everything that I've. Uh, everything that's come from you, not to just pin this on you, but <laughs> you fucking pervert. <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> but I mean, but my, my experience is when with this is there's you shit ton more nudity, and you know it is it is lesbian vampires, and like you said, it does subvert your expectations at every turn. Like mm. there was nothing what I expected was in this movie. Yeah. But again, I, I appreciate it. Like, I liked it. Yeah, well, you just wanted more naked, wrap up? naked women like done, uh, yeah. groping <laughs> each other. Yeah, I mean, actually, you know, I was. <clears throat> it was after that I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, because we know that Ilona and the Countess are in a, a relationship, and we see Ilona naked in the Countess's presence, but we never actually see them having sex. But see, the thing it's is, implied, I never, that, right? That and they I never because maybe it's not well, sex, or maybe never, it's a way of somebody saying she's she's. Uh, it's the slave thing. No, I, no, it's not even the slave thing. She's uh, what's the fucking word I'm looking for? She's submissive. exposed oh. to her. She's at her weakest. Uh, to her, right. she's naked. She's Watching vulnerable. this movie, same thing with when Valerie gets bitten. She's naked. She's exposed. She's at her most fragile. Watching this know? movie, I never um, got the lesbian vibe. What? Really? No, I didn't. No, I I didn't because it. I don't think this portrays him as technically being lesbians. I I I get the whole she's she's the countess, she's the master, and she has her slave. The lesbian thing like never came into it for me. Like really? Uh, yeah, it it really didn't. Like because I they they like never... come over here, Lona. Yeah, she's like yeah. I mean, yeah. She's, you're I, no, jealous, I, I, you know, no, like I all imagine, that. But that no, is like no, the vampire imagine, charm, right? It is. Not and even... I imagine it more as the you know the the attention is paid. 
to the slave and everything, but I don't imagine it as a sexual relationship. That never came across once, to me. Okay, I'm sorry. Once again, the fucking, the, 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 the quote-unquote mother, that guy, when, when the servant took the phone to that guy, he pet his head. <laughs> well, he was well. a gay vampire. <laughs> what? I get gay. Where's the vampire? He pet his head. I don't know. The what? same thing. It's like disturbing. you said, Alona, whatever the fuck her name is. Ilona? Ilona? I don't know. She laid her head on the lap of. I, it's just what I'm getting. I the vampire, he had a vampire, vampire. The vampire is not necessarily there, but the gays. I'm telling you. Well, I think it was there to trick you that I think. Like I said, I think you were supposed to think he was part of some vampire, like. I mean, that was my thing or thought, something like my, that. that. was my I thought swear. at the beginning. I swear. I, I mean, I don't necessarily want to go back to it, yeah. but, but I'm just, <laughs> I just wanted to reiterate that it's like, right. he pet his fucking servant's head. Well, now hold on. If Stefan wanted out of this whole, you know, masochistic dealio. I don't think he wants out. Yeah, because, well, it's, it's, his, he money, wants to explore it. his money and his title and all that comes from that. But was Lord I mean, Chilton or whatever. The fact I mean, that, but okay. Have, but, I mean, he went out and got a wife, right? Mm-hmm. Well, like, he may have come across... I mean, I imagine... I put a backstory into this where he... There's an argument between, <laughs> but, well, between him and the father, mother, as we were. That there was an argument. And, like, he refuses that whole lifestyle and everything. But was that a like, lie go, to her? I'm going to go out on my own right? and, and so, figure this out. And I want something different. But he really... Deep down, he really doesn't. But at, what at some point... off is... Okay, well, yeah, but I mean, in more realistic terms, like at some point, is he dependent on this guy? Because, like you yeah, said, that's where he gets his I money think. and his yeah. title. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's so. why he goes back to it. Yeah, I mean, because otherwise he would just stay away and there wouldn't be a thing about it. But right. he goes back to it, so he has to be dependent. And like you say, why not call your real mother? <laughs> Actually, that's kind of interesting then, because I mean, then you. I guess we're, now I'm looking at the whole movie as a bunch of you know. Uh, not even codependent. Well, I guess it is kind of codependent relationships where you have like everyone's dependent on, you know, uh, and slave to the person who, you know, dominates their world or whatever, you know, because in every relationship, there's a dominant everyone. Right. And there's There's uh, two people in a relationship. One of those people loves the other one way more than the other person loves the other one. That's just a fact. There's two refusals in this. Like, there's Stefan refusing the refusal of his mother-father figure, and there's uh, 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 Alona um, refusing Mm. the Countess. Yep. Like, you get that in both. And there's the power struggle then between Stefan and the Countess over who has, you know, dominance over Valerie. Yeah, 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 this is pretty good. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I wish the yeah. movie was this good. Deep. I think the movie is this good. It's right? half that it's good. Right. I know. My my <laughs> my standard go to is to is to think that movies um made like this back in the day aren't as smart as like I don't want to give them any credit. I really don't. Like I don't want to think that this is what they were planning the entire time making the movie. But I'm finding out more and more, like, stuff like this, like, it, it has to be. It can't be coincidence. Right, yeah. Like, this is the message they're trying to get across. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's like, that, yeah. my, before watching all this stuff, my, it was just like, nah, they just made a movie and this is what we got. And this is the message we're putting in afterwards. I'm finding out later. Yeah, oh, yeah there's a lot of thought. Not, well, I mean, even the way that this movie is shot it. and put together, I'm like, I'm actually, you know, I mean, I've, I've seen it more than you guys have. So I'm, like, picking up on stuff where I'm like, wow, that's actually, like, really well put together. There's a scene where uh, Stefan and Valerie are in Bruges on a boat going down the, the canal, canal yeah, yeah, yeah. and the camera is following them from the bank and then it like tilts up as it goes over the bridge and you see the bicycle guy. The inspector. Chiching, he goes over. Then the camera pans back down and reveals the girls. That. All right, the girls. Uh, Stefan and, and, uh, and Valerie. And then the police car comes by and then there's that scene where you actually see, because I was watching, because I knew that the inspector is going to be like a character in this. Inspector. But he, they, you know, they're following his action, too, that you don't even notice. Yeah. I but he, they that. are, like, following his action, riding the bike in and coming yeah. up to the thing. And I'm yeah. like, huh, they knew what they were doing. I mean, right. this wasn't an accident. There was, like, this was all planned and edited in a way that you got the this guy coming in at the same time that they do into that uh, that scene. Yeah. 
replayability. Like, I want to see this movie again. Plus, I like those little artistic, like, everything fades to red. It's a vampire movie, yeah, so I instead like of fading so to black, it yeah. Oh, yeah. To that was yeah. cool. And the wardrobes in this, the use of right. red in the, the wardrobes red. is great. Yes. That's fantastic. And I think this movie could be edited, oh, that's, that's for sure. Oh, I agree. <laughs> like, this movie could be 88 minutes. This is 102, you said? Oh, this movie Like, can, she dresses in it's white to minutes. make herself it's almost, like, less threatening when he goes out to meet her at the train yeah. station. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, she's wearing white. Yeah. Right. Same thing, like, Valerie puts white on to fucking go, oh, I'm innocent. I'm not this right. dirty girl what, that I was in that room, that's what you the know? Countess is doing. <laughs> she's, she's trying to draw her in so she's going in a less. I just love her voice. Attire she's just always like, get her. Yeah. where did the Valerie go? go? You know, she's just so soft. <laughs> like, uh, how did the guy fucking way over there hear her? <laughs> <laughs> I like to see a vampire run. I, that's why I like, I don't know. This, I love this vampire. She's awesome in this movie. She's fucking yeah. awesome. The way she she'll throw herself at a doorway and just kind of drape herself. <laughs> yeah, on all very dramatic. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, nobody's watching. Well, I want to say like in some of the reviews that I read, they compare her to like was she doing like a Marlena Diedrich impression? But I'm I am not familiar with yeah. Any uh, of, what I know that Madonna know has. Name. I mean, I know who Marla, Marlena Diedrich right. is. I mean, I can yeah. pick her out of a lineup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen pictures. Who is but she? She's a. Uh, <laughs> At move Hollywood or well, no, she, she Hollywood? Well, no, she's an actress. She's an actress well, from like is the she 30s or 40s. Or anything? Star uh, she, with and enough that I know. I know. Like, she yeah. was. She was like uh, one of these people who audiences a clue. Well, no, because I, I can't off the top of my head remember well, the films that she's like in. Work. But she's like <laughs> she's somebody that that is well, always referred to as being <laughs> like the epitome of Hollywood glamour or uh, style back in that. Yeah, back, back in that day, day. she was day. like, ooh, you know, she's ooh, really beautiful yeah. and, you know, can, like a, can wear one of them big ass hats and very nice <laughs> big, ass hats. Yeah. big ass hat or the veil or whatever, you know, so that's why I think the disco ball. But I don't know if, you know, I've heard the comparisons with Delphine Searig's performance in this and Marlena Dietrich, but I can't vouch for that myself. Hmm. Well, I mean, they're, yeah, their use of the Vaseline filter, star filter, whatever you want to call it, like specifically on her is definitely a throwback to the 20s That's and awesome. 30s for sure. It's got to be. I mean, look at when as soon she steps out of her car. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. She yeah. is like in a Starts beautiful there. movie. Yeah. When she's on screen, it is beautiful looking. Yeah. And then like it oh, the cuts and it's like, oh shit, it's the 70s. Chains. And she's got this veil on. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's very mysterious. You're it looking at awesome. her, but you can't see You can see a little glint in her eye. Oh, fuck. It was, that was an awesome song. Mm-hmm. Shot. Yeah. Did you say yeah. awesome sock? I said <laughs> awesome. I said that was an awesome <laughs> sock. Awesome sauce. <laughs> and then I corrected myself by saying shot. Uh, that shot. was I awesome sauce. I, I do say awesome. Yeah. Sauce. So I mean, sauce. I think it's it's low awesome budget sauce. to be sauce. sure. Yeah. You know, uh, and yeah. made in 1971, and probably much. not made by people who were. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm saying that they are craftsmen and they do know how to make films, but they're maybe not there terribly wasn't, proficient at it. There so wasn't that like outside lighting thing. Yeah, <laughs> they just well, they have that back that day for night. Yeah, that was their very blue. outdoor. So yeah. I think it's it's very well made from that point of view. You know, yeah. like these aren't like maybe you know guys who do this every single day making this movie. You know, like studio craftsmen. You know, but Probably then I think porno it's like, directors. <clears throat> <laughs> Probably <laughs> had the red They're light art films. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They sure are. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, they don't have they don't have like action sequences down. No, no. Yeah. That's yeah, where right. Yeah, that's yeah, where he sure. stumbles. I think <laughs> yeah. is in the action. The two action scenes. We'll cut it together. All right. Well, yeah. what's your second? Your second yeah. action scene. Now that we're here, yeah. yeah. The, the the second action scene is there's like this. Yeah, what is? It's like a almost like a crystal. Oh God, yeah. Dome that you would put over a plate. Uh, you know, like when you're presenting food. Yes. Yeah. Well, we would set up this scene though. It's what's like that? So. Jar. Yeah. What the so, fuck is happening? At this well, uh, this movie has four endings. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's got it's got too many. Oh yeah. It goes on forever. Yeah. You're always like, oh my God, it's going to end. Oh, no, 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 no. Again, She's lighting candles. They're going to have every corner. They're going to talk about something. <laughs> well, you're saying that because, like, they had an opportunity once. Because basically, you're like, at some point. The Countess is going to get her hooks into Valerie, and Valerie's going to go with the Countess. Or and they're going to fucking, like, retch her from the Countess, and they're going to, like, right. stab her yeah, in the heart. Yeah, but it's a horror movie, like right. so, like, it's going to turn out badly for Stephanie. Right, and there's opportunities no. to end it at well, certain points. Right, that's, I think, where, where you're one. saying, like, there should be, like, <laughs> this is where it should kind of close, because they're trying to get yeah. rid of when they, when they bury, body. Yeah, burying Alona. That's right. the logical idea. The they, they, like, is that he goes in, they bury him, and... They, yeah, you know, the inspector's yeah. looking right at him. He's like, "I see you burying the body." 
Yeah. And then they do nothing they with it. They run him off the road. But, but why? I'm going to turn around now. Like, yeah, he's just he's so pedaling sad. back to town. But wouldn't he have a gun? He well, should have a get car. Get a car. Get a car, Yeah, get dude. a car. You're on a bike. Yeah, I know you're retired, but get a bike. Or well, get a car. It's Europe. <laughs> yeah, right. It's yeah. Europe. Yeah, yeah, the bike yeah. thing fits. Yeah. 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 So she runs him off the road, and he never gets to report it. He's but, still alive somewhere. He's still. But you can still bury he's Stefan still with uh, with oh. Alona's yeah, she body. Wanted, well, I, maybe she wanted Stefan to be okay with it. Maybe she wanted like a threesome vampire. No, no, no. I, I, well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. back what, and then he tries to like. But look what to, like, happens there. Like they, they dig a hole. They put Alona in it. Or they put St- Stefan's digging the hole. They throw Alona on top of him. The place caves in on him. And so his hand reaches up, you know, like uh, in a horror movie. Again, this right. is another image yeah, that's from horror. Yeah, you know, and the countess is basically just kind of standing there. It's Valerie, who at this point is not 100 percent under the countess's sway because she hasn't been bitten yet. That happens when they get back to the hotel. So Valerie is trying to get Stefan out. So I think the countess was kind of like, like, God damn it. There was a perfect. No, come away. Come away. You could have just left him. We could have got rid of them both and been out the door. <clears throat> As a writer director, around. you could have been like, "Okay, we'll just you know, we'll, we'll speed this <laughs> right, up. Exactly, we'll take care of it right here." But so then, you think the Countess in in the story of the movie, the Countess keeps stepping around to in the story to keep the, movie. Right, the, story. <laughs> the only reason he's still there is when the story's going on. Cause. But here's the thing: I mean, if you if you stop before you get to that point where she keeps him around, he gets buried. They're up on the hill in the you know like the silhouetted moonlight, and she got the cape. The and she cape does, comes out. She does the fucking cape. I love her cape. You you cut I to black right there, and I'm going to see Daughters the, of Darkness Part fade Two. To red. I'm, I'm the like, first. No, yeah, agree. fade to red. Like, yeah. I'm, there are opportunities where like. That yeah, can happen. Dude, that movie like, should have ended a few times. 88 minutes. Because I could edit this movie down to 88 <laughs> minutes and, and it would still be a great fucking he's movie. He's right. It could be. <laughs> and they get to an ending that kind of... I kind of like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, Before no. we get there, we have to hear about the crystal bolt. Oh, yeah. So hold on. How the yeah. fuck did we even get right, off of that? Don't let me forget my thought right, on the ending. Right. The wait, ending. Okay, well... So you set it up, Colin, because you know it. Well, uh, they get back to the hotel. Valerie falls under the sway of the Countess, and she invites Stefan over for dinner because he's like, fuck it, I'm leaving. I'm taking this woman with me. I'm a man. I'm a man. And they get into this uh, struggle that uh, ends badly for Stefan, but in a almost comical, I mean, it's weird, comical way. It's not entirely staged well. And it's not even, it doesn't even make sense. out as to why. It's it's almost like can you expose. can you suffocate somebody with a crystal no, ball? You can't. You can't. You can't. There's no you way. Can't. So I mean, how does this happen again? How does the food so, follow? Okay, I can't the remember. Ca- how- I got I got this. The countess she does a hip check to the like to the room service tray like the car. Oh yeah, in her vampire power, yeah. it, like pushes it. It, it, it. it slowly, right, she pushes slowly well, get rolls over, then falls over. Effects. Yeah, but then like you see, so you see like lobster and all this food fall <laughs> and like this. What a waste. This crystal topper to the plate, whatever. And you, you're like wondering, what is she doing? This, right? What's the plan here? There's so, a plan. It's yeah. all improvised. And but is I it, just can't remember what she wanted that, to yeah, kill. She picks up, she picked, well, the because countess. she wanted, well, she wanted Valerie to kiss him or whatever. He wouldn't have it. And, and he's all like, like she's coming, starts, oh, she's coming with me. He starts hitting her. Yes. Oh, that's starts, right. That's right. She starts hitting the fuck out of Valerie. She's again, like, Elizabeth, right? Elizabeth. So Elizabeth jumps in there to protect that's right. her new girlfriend. No, she gets knocked to the window, stumbles 20 feet. <laughs> Sean's stumbling right now. Twenty feet. Twenty feet away. Twenty feet. Come 20, back. Come almost back. Almost twenty feet to the window, and then goes back and pushes the food cart yep. over to stop what's going on. Yeah. But then she okay. picks up the crystal, uh, <laughs> the crystal bowl, and you're like, "Well, she's gonna fucking brain him." <laughs> right. Yeah. You would think because it's got like a point on the top right. of it. The Plus, top it's of the a bell. fucking crystal. Topper, crystal like, yeah, that's it looks just thick. Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Thick and heavy. But no. Nope. She decides <laughs> to try to and sure. smother him. <laughs> I'm gonna, try to smother. I'm gonna put this over your face somehow. Very, very gently over. Yeah, face. like okay, where's her vampire fucking powers then? I don't she get that. Have, she has no vampire powers. Well, She's crazy. Know, She's never a food cart. She never shown like, vampire powers you in the whole movie. But so then both yeah, Valerie and, and the Countess <laughs> are leaning on this thing, trying yeah, to smother. Yeah, because Valerie wants to fucking kill her husband. That's so weird. Well, he's been. He's the just, just but why wouldn't they do that? The fucking cl- two scenes before. Well, he wasn't She didn't get bit. She should have got bit before that. Yeah, you're right. That's why. God damn it. But the. The, the staging of this is kind of funny because the... It's so uh, weird. They're both got a hand on it. And the crystal, you hear it... Oh, what the fuck? And it fuck? cracks. It falls open. So it's supposed open. to crack on his 
face? Is that what yeah, they pushed it, it down yeah, so yeah, hard it cracks yeah, on, his cracks face. on his face? Yeah. Yeah. We could have yeah. used like a face smush on the ball yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. Like I, 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 I turned mean, over and the point goes into his like, I thought it was gonna crack and like you'd see the like blood like fill right. the inside of the yeah, they would just the crush him. bowl. Yeah. But no, it breaks the thing in half and the the two sides Individual tumble down sides. to his arms and slit his, his wrists. wrists on their own accord. Like yeah, nobody's they, oh, yeah. very much so. It. Yeah, yeah. And then they're like, "Blood, blood, blood!" <laughs> <laughs> I actually like this. As soon as you see blood, if you're a vampire, as soon as you see blood, you go, "Blood, blood, blood." <laughs> I like that. That's a, that's a good direction. To it's taken. So, that's almost uh, a zombie version. Of, it's like a I warning. Like oh yeah. Whoa, when they, when they see blood, they lose I, all control. I like that. And they're just like blood. I'm writing that down for later. No, yeah. well, because who did that? Who someone did? Someone did do somebody that? do that? Where that? Well, not the blood, blood. <laughs> but so, <laughs> somebody did that. Where when they see like blood, that. they're just like. Oh, I get away from him. I can't even look at it. I'm gonna muster out. Well, I know. thought I thought that's what was going on when he cut himself. When Stefan cut himself with the razor, I thought he saw the blood and became like retard vampire. <laughs> right, early on in the movie, that's what opposite yeah. vampire. Yeah. I saw blood. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that was a very weird choice to uh, do the yeah. bowl rolling down. Well, and that's what I'm like. What are they doing? Are they trying to like crucify him? Is that like there's some kind of like? But I'm like, what is it? Like Stefan was crucified. It's like they, it's like they like, didn't want fangs, but they didn't want to show him cut it. They didn't want to. It's like yeah. they still well, wanted. Martin the was able thing. to do that without you know yeah, no fangs. I Martin, guess so. But how would have they done it? Just with a knife or something? They should have fucking did it the earlier. Yeah. It should have just been the facial, you know, just. Something. Then you they should have even thing. done the face thing. They yeah. should have like pushed Couldn't him through end with the two window. Vampires like drinking your blood. Yeah. If they would have pushed him through the window, it would have been better. Just pushed him through the fucking window. Mm-hmm. He could have been all cut up. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. But they have to take him out and dispose of his body, yeah, and then that the body. Uh, takes them past the time when they should have be it back. It takes us past the running time. That Which is stupid, because no one's around anyway. They could have waited another day. They're like, eh, we're cutting a little close. We might as well yeah. dispose of the body Come tomorrow on, night. <laughs> Yeah, so, there's fucking 50 rooms in here. Pierre's not right, going to yeah. fucking come yeah, in. You're right. Yeah, is he cleaning every you one know, of these yeah. He's moving the fucking tree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's just moving the tree <laughs> around. He's way into this movie. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm telling you, that's some tree. fucking weird symbolism. I don't know. What about, <laughs> symbolism. what about the disturbance, though, from the fight in the hotel room? He's going to come check that out, right? He didn't hear it. He didn't hear it. How he's big down is that doing hotel room? Yeah, he's How would that. you hear that? He's, That's true. He's ironing at this, this point. Yeah, or something. He's got porn down yeah. there. Uh, yeah. They're probably watching soccer, football, whatever you call it. <laughs> and then this poor countess who's been around for hundreds of years dies I in an auto oh, accident. Car oh, accident. Oh, 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 well, aren't we there? We're, no, we're not there. So where are you at? We're, we're back. Okay. And then we got to go forward. What? So wait, all right, the body, they dump the body it's over the over balcony, the, yeah. balcony, and then they go and bury it, Yeah. and then at that point, they drive no, it they, away. No, they yeah. throw it in water. They throw it in, like, some pond somewhere. Yeah. Oh, right. Throw it in water, which you could tell it was, like, yeah. a very miniature. Nice lolly, just it like, had to have been a miniature. They threw it into a little fucking <laughs> pool. very easy. It was yeah. just, yeah. Whoop. But then they're driving it faster, got, they're, faster. Right, they're 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 don't let the sun The sun's coming. They're doing their getaway, because the sun's coming. The sun's coming. Faster, faster, faster. It was very sexual. Faster. With, then, yeah, there's not they, a sexual in the end. In the end, and they, start, that and they start making out, don't they? From no. the back seat to the front seat, don't they? Like, yeah, I'm trying. I like the way that Travis's <laughs> imagination like, so yes. inflamed with the. I like no, that's why. That's why. She, I think she was maybe there was some hair caressing. I'm right. telling you, there's <laughs> definitely. <laughs> some, I was like, what is going yeah, on here? It was the faster. You should faster. be driving, not getting sexually aroused by her telling you to drive faster. And then, and then at that point. Because we everything we were expecting has not happened. The thing that we were probably expecting I earlier saw on in the movie, ha- I saw that coming. Happens, and this they they crash off the road, and the countess gets thrown from the car and impaled on a huge branch that's just right there on the side of the road, which is awesome. I'm I going like to that. argue the angle of impalement versus the car. Oh, but that's of just course. Yeah, 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 that's definitely. You but, had to see the car burn, which they could have just put. the Car. Yeah, then the yeah, car so. the car explodes, right. explodes and then catches fire and burns the couch. <laughs> burns the it's couches. like, Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, holy <laughs> shit. But it almost felt like the end of Lost Boys, even though, you know. I just like that idea that a vampire can die. Well, shit, I remember uh, Dracula 80, 1974? 72. Two. I like how 
the wagon wheel or the the stagecoach crashes yeah. and he gets impaled on the fucking wagon yeah, yeah, wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I I, I just kind of like like accidental impalement. Yeah. Ah, you know. But this is very abrupt when this happens, very and abrupt. it's like it's not and, a bro. I'm like, dude, drive faster, drive faster. Yeah, but it was like a fucking well, like right. bad propaganda, as, like as high, like education movie, driving film. Abrupt. Drive faster. Yeah. Because drive, nothing nothing bad can happen abrupt. if we well, drive I guess so fast. And maybe the other thing too is because it's so excessive. I would say it's excessive. Yeah. She's impaled, car blows up, and she catches on fire. Right. It's out of tone with, and not that I, oh, it's not on. that I don't not, like it, right, not but it is not, out yes. of tone with the like kind of subtle, you know, kind of shocking. Yeah, it's, yes. it's shocking. shocking. It works. They want you to be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Even the way they film it, because like you see them in cars earlier, but the way that they like represent driving is they take the camera and they move it in and out almost like a zoom in and out only on the windshield yeah so you're, you're like then this is like actual footage of a car like speeding down this you know wooded highway i like that because once again like you don't expect the vampire to die in a car accident like a normal way right. yeah just like everything else in this movie is kind of a normal human way of things like mundane life takes over and they die in a car accident. Yeah. yeah i thought that was kind of cool I, I, again, cool. I, again abrupt but i didn't like i did not like it yeah. But then the M. Night Shyamalan ending. Yeah, so this is where it should... See, I would have been happy right. if it ended right there. I yeah. like this ending. Uh, but then right. there's think, another there's ending. different ending ways number, they could have done this. number three is pretty good. <laughs> ending number three. <laughs> we'll stick all, they had three. To do, all, right. all they had to do was kill Stefan at the fucking beach, and this movie would have been better. And you couldn't... Oh, then have the impalement on the way back. Well, but you yeah, wouldn't have had, had the, the impalement But the, the, you would miss right. the you power struggle. The reason that they kept it going... They could have done it at the beach, or they could have done it... Yeah, you're right. They could have done it. They could have had that yeah. discussion at the beach. For sure, dude. Okay. All right. 88 yeah. minutes. Travis is it. It could have been like, I'm yeah. going to edit this movie. Like, I'm going to get an editing bay, <laughs> download this whole thing, and I will have a better version. <laughs> uh. The American version. 87 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Big fucking American flag. Yeah, in the just like a goddamn good vampire movie should be. 87 minutes. <laughs> and the, the show up in a black cape, bite a neck, get impaled, end a fucking movie. Roll credits. <laughs> Eighty-seven a minutes. Shiny, dis- bespectacled black cape in this movie. It's just it's okay. So, cape. so my M Night Shyamalan yeah. ending that I right. do love. I love it because I was first like, why the fuck? Why? Okay, we're not gonna see Valerie burning in the car. Uh-huh. There you go. Valerie did not burn in the car. Four months later. Four months later, she ends up with a young couple at well, some other hotel. Some other resort. hotel in fucking uh, Elizabeth in a uh, ba- Battery's fucking whatever they call her, Batten. Battery. But they didn't call her that. They called her Batory. Batory. Yeah, Batory or whatever. The Batory. She's she's wearing her sequence cape. And she's using, she's speaking in her voice. So it's yeah. Valerie's body speaking in her voice. So I'm like, dude, yeah. so what we thought was a Renfield relationship, like where I'm your slave, I'm your like whatever, what actually turned out to be is this vampire has kind of like a backdoor body solution this to where. Yeah, I think, yeah. But I kind of. Because I don't like, know if this is what they meant. I don't Because know it almost you seemed know? to me. That the choice to maybe dub her, her voice in was like be. a afterthought. Like, oh, you know, she's what? wearing her cape. It's her voice. It yeah, has right. to it's be like her, her personality. Soul. It's her soul inside yeah. her body. She just uses like in this world, you're either your vampire, like because we don't know if they're vampires or if they're Renfield, like zombie type characters. Yeah. I mean, like we the evil things she affect. She has right. a reflection, right? right? I mean, yeah. they didn't ever her fucking fingers. No, well, the other girl. Well, ba- right. yeah, the other girl, the Renfield girl, Lenore, L- Alona, Valor. whatever her fucking name is, <laughs> Elona, Elona, whatever. Yeah, so that's why it's like I don't think they were vampires. They were kind of Renfields, but in this world, Renfields are used like as a secondary body. Like the if fact. you die, your vampire soul will go to your. They're a Horcrux. Dun, dun, dun. Oh what? The hard nothing. Say, yeah. Nothing. Just skip it. <laughs> skip it. See Harry Potter. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like a receptacle of the. It's a reliquary, it's except for your soul. To go into it. All right. Well, the yeah. But they say. So, but, it's, but, it's, but it's basically. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not like it's not beneficial. It's the same. It's the right. same deal that you can put really a. Is. You can put a soul hard, yes. into something it else that backup. you can. It is your backup hard drive. Yeah. Like yeah. If your shit fails. You can just. Which is cool. I thought that was a cool way to explain a vampire. You know, I'll take it. Yeah. Like that's perfectly fine. I, I would definitely buy that. One. I would buy into that definitely. Yeah, because yeah. just because yeah. that, just because Pierre said I saw you forty years ago, that does not mean that is the body of right. Elizabeth Bathory. It just means she that's a different body, and she's always looking at like, 
Oh, look at her skin. Oh, it's so pale. She is always looking for the body type she wants to inhabit. But then wouldn't well, Alona at some point but have been... She died, uh, though. Well, she was that, but she wants to leave, right? She wants to get out of there. Yeah, but I also got the so Elizabeth, she's like arranging her secondary body. Plus, why not have three or four bodies around? Yeah, they I didn't guess, necessarily just say, because, like... No, it feels because, like, like her... Yeah, because Elizabeth, we know that the, the woman who shows up in 1971, is the same one who visited 40 same years but earlier. But she hasn't same died yet. She, but she hasn't aged either. She's not gonna die. You're not supposed... It's not about... So Obviously, like she does die, die. You get impaled. Well, yeah, yeah. But, but that's what I'm just saying. That's the secondary body. You but gotta keep it around at, in case. You but don't... she's looking at, like, eternal life. I mean, I get, I see what you're saying. But, but they keep them young, too. When they... The Renfields also have the young thing, right. too. And they would not, die. not not in like the Dracula world. In this world, in this yeah. world, her Renfield vampire counterparts or whomever she makes, her what 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 would you call it? She is her like what was Dracula's fucking women? Those three women, the brides, the brides. Yeah. What do yeah. they call the brides? The brides of Dracula. Anyway, so it's the same difference, you know, where they stay young forever too, right. because when she dies, she's just gonna whoop go right into there, and if they and left, that's eternal, they would die. Yeah. Like, that's why there's a conversation in the middle of the movie that says, you can't leave. Well, that no, could also leave. explain why when Valerie gets you bitten, she falls under some, like a spell, like a trance. Yeah, she's where a- it doesn't It doesn't seem like Alona is under the same trance, but Valerie, once uh, the but countess She said, in time her, you will love me the way I love you. <clears throat> she said that. In time you will love me the way I love you. Uh, yeah. Battery said that to, to Valerie uh, after the train station. Yeah. She was, she's like, in time you will love me the way... I love you. Same thing with whatever. It takes time to... It's almost just like let the right one in, right? You got to get the person like infatuated with you so they want to help you as a vampire your whole life. Yeah. Mm. All right, so is that uh, Daughters Wrapping of Darkness? it up. Daughters of Darkness, wrapping it up. That's wrapping it up. I believe that would start with me, huh? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, more and more that we do these podcasts, I think about how, man... I wish we would have done this before, I, or like had a conversation like this before I saw the movie, because like everything is so much more clearer, you know. It's like going into this film, you don't know what the fuck is going on for. I would say it's what is it, hundred minutes for about mm, fifty, at least fifty minutes in, right? Halfway in, you don't, you're an hour in, you don't know what's going on, and they're like building all these things, like Travis says, yeah, they got all these mysteries like, throughout throughout the film. You're you're waiting for like. <laughs> at least one mystery to be solved, <laughs> and, and they—I mean, they do. They, they after that, they do start to you start to figure some stuff oh, that's out. That's interesting. Oh, you're going to ignore that. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. But oh. yeah, I, I still, you know, I mean, it is interesting how uh, it, it, it re, this film reinforces the idea of if you have a, a great concept for a film and writing, you know, like you have a really good story, like budget doesn't really matter because you can go back and watch this film over and over again and you're going to find out like oh like that's what they were like you know I mean that's I guess the next time I watch it I'm going to take this conversation that we just had with me and I'm going to be like oh well yeah that's exactly what we were talking about and there it is you know the proof in the movie the proof is in the pudding as they say and when you go back and watch it like I think that's all going to be present and I think that's what makes a good film um I don't think like they just you know they didn't take like even though it, it it's no it's not even it's not even a exploitation film really because they're not relying on the idea of lesbian vampires or vampires really because they're exploring new avenues to all of that and the the story that they're actually telling like it doesn't have to be a vampire story you know I mean like what Travis says about with the men and the whole, you know, women's liberation. Yeah, it's definitely right. it could like just be a uh, domestic story. About yeah, a couple and it, it meeting could. other people as they're traveling abroad. And the vehicle of vampirism is an interesting way to present it. Vampirism. 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 <laughs> Vampirism. Um, so for that, I mean, like, my hats off to this Harry Kumel. <laughs> I don't know what, yeah. if he's ever this done Harry Kubel. What the fuck's a Harry Kubel? <laughs> but my hat's off to him because I mean, he, yeah, like he explored. 
he he made a, a dynamite movie. I don't know if he's ever done it again, but this this is a good one, and I would definitely recommend it to my friends There's and no family. Writer on this movie. But I really? don't know about my no, family. No, there's no writer on this movie. What? So you're recommending it? I totally recommend it. No, yeah. there's no writer on this movie. I'm gonna uh, watch it again. Huh? On the back of the At box. At least on the back anyway. of the box, anyway. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, uh, Daughters of Darkness. That's right. We're doing a show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I was I was surprised by this movie. Um, everything, and uh, I'm glad because everything I was expecting to happen, <clears throat> which you know, if it had happened, I probably would have just been like, oh yeah, it's you know, it's a vampire movie and. Uh, but, you know, like we said, it subverted every expectation, which was, you know, I appreciate more than anything that's just going to give me what I expect. Um, I would I would watch it, I would definitely watch it again, maybe a couple more times, just to, you know, um, uh, just to, like you said, you were talking about, you know, they know what they're doing. And like I said, I don't give enough credit to these, to older films in thinking they know what they're doing. I'm just like, oh, they just made a fucking movie, and now, you know, we go back, and we give, we assign stuff to it, and it's, it's fucking bullshit. These people knew what they were doing, and um, I give it a lot of credit for for not doing what would might be expected of a vampire movie. I was very surprised. I like where they went with it. It could have ended in four different places, but... Um, still very interesting to watch. I like the actors in this movie. Um, I was never I was never bored with watching their performances. I liked them, so I'd watch it again. I definitely I'd recommend it. It's uh, it's one of the better ones. I literally like okay. The only vampire movies I would ever consider owning is Fright Night, Lost Boys, From Dust Till Dawn. Let the right one in. Um, I mean, uh, to I me, I, I love so vamp- like vampire movies start at 1985. I like vampire because well, I just think I, they're so fucking played out. Like I said, so many vampire movies yes. have the whole. She looks exactly like your long lost and the love. painting and everything. They yeah. just oh, yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. Yes, I man, they that, just yes. like oh god, you want to talk? Do they? I mean, it just drives me crazy. It's like it, Fright Night does that, by the way. And then, of course, nowadays, how <laughs> Just saying. it does, it does do it that. But, but he, well. but he was making, well, but yeah. he was making an homage and to those. Very, yeah. and that's probably like the last right. one. It has to be the short. last yeah. one. Like, no, it's not the last well, one. Fucking the, Dracula, Bram Stoker's Dracula did it. <laughs> the yeah, one but, by well, they still did it. When well, no yeah, fucking that's, writer that's was the reincarnated. Why? But that's not in the book, though. The reincarnated love. I forget where that originally comes uh, it from. It came from the 73. It comes from a movie. It's the 73 Dracula with Jack Palance. Is it Jack Palance? Yeah. Jack Palance. Oh, I want to see that. He's Dracula. Oh, yeah. oh, I want to see that. <laughs> oh, I can't oh, wait to shit. see that. Yeah, I totally want to see that. He looks, he just looks pained the whole way through. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this is like, I was, I was surprised by this movie because I just fucking hate vampire movies. I rail against them. My brother just is so in love with vampire movies. So I've seen a lot of them growing up more than I care to fucking even think about. And I like how this went away from, like, the gray hair to the black-haired slick back guy, uh, black, slick black hair in the in the fucking cape and the, the medallion necklace that all the 70s fucking... <laughs> and, and I'm telling you, like, I think if it wasn't for this actress that played uh, 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 Countess Battery, I mean, she fucking made this movie to me. Oh, I loved her. I mean, she is the Jerry Dandridge. She is the, you know... She is fantastic in this movie, and I think the the main actress that plays uh, uh, the wife, she's a fucking knockout too. She's just a beauty. My God, she's a beauty. Yeah, I'll be Danielle Weemet. I didn't care much for the fucking Sado man. Like I thought they were trying. I don't know if they were just trying to throw you off too much or try. I just didn't care so much for. Because, I mean, they didn't go anywhere with it. They set up this whole, like, husband's got a weird lifestyle that they just fucking just stop exploring. And I don't, I, I just think that's a poor choice. It's like, dude, this was the first half of the movie. You're not going to fucking show us what the fuck's up with him? Amen. That's bullshit. Yeah. Why set it? Why? He just, it's like they could have done, they might as well have just went with my mother doesn't like you. Why create such a fucking convoluted <laughs> thing not to pay it off? 
Doesn't make any fucking sense. It's confounding when you look back. That's it, dude. When I edit this, I'm editing it out all that convoluted shit. I might edit out the whole sadomasochistic relationship because it makes no sense in this movie. It tries to. When I edit it. <laughs> I'm going to edit this movie. I want, I want to see my version of this movie. Because I think it's a really good vampire movie, which I don't fucking say a lot. Yes. I fucking <laughs> really dog on vampire movies. I barely give them a chance anymore because either they're too romantic or or, or you're they supposed rely to rely on everything you've seen before. Or yeah, or they just whatever or they have to rely on like oh modern day science or it's a war, it's a street war with a werewolf. You know, I'm fucking sick of that shit, you know. I'm sick of the old vampires, I'm sick of the new vampires. I just want a good enemy for my movie. That's what I want. I want a good bad guy, a good villain. That's all. I don't care if they're fucking bald and white with pointy ears or, or fucking hot women or what. I just want a good bad guy. That's cool. And I just thought this chick was awesome. She steals every scene. The whole fucking movie is her. It's her. And I, I the story's simple. I like how simple the story is. It's really just... I mean, fuck, it's people sitting in a hotel room talking about sadomasochistic behavior. <laughs> And it gets them all hot and bothered, you know. That's simple. I think it's pretty <laughs> simple. Terribly, it's simple. It's pretty simple because, because like normal, like if this movie was written with normal people, like Francis would have been like, "What the fuck are you rubbing all over my husband for? Talking oh, yeah, about chopping yeah, yeah. nipples yeah. off?" But it's not that movie. These people are like, well, imagine, up imagine in the, the head. Michael Bay version of this, right? The Michael would Bay, be, really unlikable teenagers. Problem. <laughs> it would be all over the world. No, I mean, just like if you were to... It, the, the the character types that he would put in this uh, movie would just be like... Uh, uh. But I just don't want to get so convoluted if we're not going to really have a... Uh, a uh, What do you call it? If it's not going to... Pay off. Thank you. Or, yeah, pay off. Yeah. But still... Resolution. But, but still, yeah, thank you, Resolution. <laughs> But still, I you know still I like shit. I might even own this movie one day just because I Whoa. I liked her so much. I thought she was such a fucking cool vampire. It's like holy fuck, man. Like I said, like when they showed her, they were shooting a fucking movie from the twenties. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a nostalgic movie from the twenties. When they showed the rest of the movie, it was like yeah, it's the seventies. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nothing special. They showed her. It's like oh god, those are beautiful images. She looks beautiful. Everything she says is awesome. I mean, yeah, I I like this movie a lot. I thought it was really good. Not to say it didn't have its faults. I mean, I'm not even going to say, like, I would watch this every, you know, day of my life or not like that. But it's still, like, when it comes to, like, you know, like, this, like, slides in at, like, number, like, I don't know, seven on my, like, I mean, I don't have, I wouldn't even say I've got a top ten vampire list. No. I don't even know if I can have that many can vampire we, movies on Can I put it in, like, an audio stinger, like, number seven. Number seven. <laughs> coming in at number seven. <laughs> and coming in at number seven is Diners of Dartmouth. So, uh, yeah, I like this movie. I can't say it's perfect, but it's one of those, like, I like it because I like it. I you know, yeah, mm-hmm. it's not great, you know, <laughs> but fuck it. Well, I'm in the same boat. I mean, I like it because I like it. I, I think it's one of those things, like, I mean, again, it's one of my favorite, uh, well, specifically <laughs> of the lesbian vampire <laughs> subgenre <laughs> of, of the sub-genre. vampire film. Uh, Top you know, five lesbian vampires. I think, you know, I mean, like, there's other ones that are more uh, exploit. I mean, I do have a soft spot yeah. for the vampire lovers, maybe, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that, like, Gene Rollin did, you know, like, I'm, I'm just not, like, too crazy about some of those. And uh, what was the guy? Jess Franco made, like, with his wife, Linda Roman, they made, like, a fuck ton of, like, Vampiros Lesbos and Lips of Blood and, like, all this stuff. And they're really hard to watch. And even, <laughs> even the one that came. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah was that movie? Yeah. What, are you it, showing what does that mean in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then Hammer did, like, a whole bunch of them, but all the Hammer ones were basically the Karnstein. Uh, the Carmilla yeah, the Car- Karnstein, yeah. you know, uh, uh, story just kind of read down over and over. Here's the sequel to it or whatever. Um, this one, I think, like, approaches it from the perspective of, like, you know, it's more adult than those movies. Those movies yeah. are always trying to cater to the juvenile in you that wants to see... I mean, those are right. sexploitation. Hot, yeah, you want to see hot Thanks, women naked hot making out with... A, and, and and a bunch of, you know, biting... Like, I think blood. the trailer of this, this is one of those movies where you're like, oh, yeah, man, we're going to go see this dirty sexploitation. What? Yeah. They fooled me with a trailer. <laughs> no, because know? it yeah. sits uncomfortably between yeah. the art house and the grindhouse. Yeah. It's, it's art yeah, house sure. in its aspirations, but it ended up playing... 
playing on 42nd Street. You know, I mean, that's where it, <laughs> it right? found its yeah. audience. Yeah. So it's kind of like. Well, just because it is foreign, right? I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. And because be it was story. the the thrill of the forbidden, you know, taboo kind of subjects back Naked in the day. Naked girls. Yeah. But on then it, the screen? It totally you know? <laughs> subverts all of your expectations. It treats it like, and I guess that's the thing. Is it a postmodern vampire movie where it's like, we know what vampire movies are. It's Christopher Lee in a cape wandering around with a medallion and, you know, in the fog and all this stuff. Because it knows that those movies exist because right. it keeps it doing shout outs to those moments, but like doing like. Okay, we know that they have capes that, you know, but it does it in a ridiculous way or like a way that calls attention to itself or even the inspector, the vampire hunter, you know, it's like we're going to get rid of him because like he's, you know, who this is the Van Helsing in another vampire movie. This would be like the guy. And in this movie, it's like, man, you know, he's kind of an annoyance off the I don't have time for you. And she goes, it just brushes him off, which I think is kind of great. Um Yeah, I mean it's uh it's it's like a grown and, and by the way, there's like screenplay by three people We're, on that box. I'm just saying, Sean. There you go. <laughs> oh, I missed that. That's my bad. Uh yeah, I think I <laughs> totally mean the movie the movie is owned by I mean like when you Those see glasses it, aren't prescription. They're just, no, they're just, from they're the just grocery the store. The <laughs> they're plastic. They're for show. GQ. But look, it wasn't yeah. down next to producer, so we'll give them uh, the benefit of the doubt. But it's owned by uh, Delphine, Delphine Serig. Delphine. Uh, and again, haven't seen anything else that she's done, but she towers over yeah. every scene that she's in in this movie through this really like sly, kittenish. I don't know what she else is. She is like say, 20s seductive. movie starlet. 20s movie starlet. She's just, oh. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But know, uh, it's just like, oh, I love you. <laughs> she's like, it's everything like, in the way she talks. She it's is like the this... 1920s seductress. You can't be too sexy, yeah, but, but you can kind of smile. The thing about her that, like, somehow, or, like, I mean, all that's true, like, but there's fuck. like this kind of like bored, arist- aristocratic kind yeah, of, you know, like, for sure. she's just kind of like, oh, you know, she's, you know, we're well, just, she's, kind of, yeah, well, yeah, she's yeah. Free. I shouldn't talk about this, but, you know, the, I have this on my mind and whatever. And that is, it's just she's very compelling. Well, I mean, she but yeah. she's telling people I'm more free than you. You're a little bit more subdued. She is, literally. yeah. You know, I yeah. it, it piques someone's interest to be like, hey, what, what are you talking about? You know, right? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, it's I like a know. character that will just say those things. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. she's she's really cool to watch. Mm-hmm. But I also think that you know, uh, I think the other characters are interesting. I mean, you know, I think um, you were saying something in your wrap up, Brent, that. Uh, about how oh shit where that it creates all these mysteries it's like an hour into it you don't know what's going on <laughs> it's because you're compelled because you're watching it and you're like this is intriguing yeah. these people are interesting they're intriguing i don't know where this is going but i like that about it. you know when i watch a movie i don't want to know what the fuck is going to happen right. you know that it, this is predetermined that they're going to do this i kind of like it where pleasure. it's like what in the <laughs> fuck it, well yeah i mean that's where i think this movie doesn't necessarily stick the landing i I actually don't like the final uh, ending on this because it's like I I'm just yeah I'm maybe just not clear on what's happening. I know Travis interpreted it. I've got I don't I'm, know. If I'm I, pretty good on this. I know it. I don't know if I yeah, but even if that's true, I don't know it's if I like true. it. I think I would have liked to have it like after she burns, you know, right. the thing went, you know, but. You know, and I, I'm not going to hold that against the movie. I still think. Uh, Cause I would have, I, I would have thought it would suck if she just died, then the credits rolled. I would have been like, "Well, fuck! Everybody just dies." That's how Jaws sucks. ends, damn it! No, okay. Jaws does not end like that. <laughs> you kill the Sheriff fish Brody and comes over. back to his family. Talk, no, no, I'm talking. <laughs> American about. Werewolf no. in London. They kill him, and then it's over. Well, you but, kill the but she's left joke. crying. You know what? I haven't seen that movie, so it's just not. Are you fucking nuts? <laughs> God, Sean's fired. I knew, I knew that was Sean that. will no longer be featured on the Saturday Night Show or Saturday Night Free Show. He's just been fired. The official pink papers. Oh, boy. God Aww. damn it. It's only the most. Uh, I'm going to yell at you. It's outside. like the best After, werewolf yeah. movie that's ever been made. Only the most important. It yeah. is the most important After. fucking special effects movie ever. Ever made, it's right? The, yeah, it's the first one that it created the because this is of that not movie, the movie we're talking. About. I know, but you just fucking Oscar opened a can of words for well, anyway. Yeah, makeup effects. <laughs> oh god, and one. Um, All right, but yeah, uh, I can't remember where I was going. Sorry. With this. Okay, yeah, so see. what do we got? I think it's well made. I think it's well acted. <laughs> I think it's. Uh, 
Would I recommend it to people? Yes, because I think that this is one of those movies where, you know, as far as like Travis was saying, as far as vampire movies go, you've seen so many yeah. things that are very similar. This one strikes out and tries to do something different, and that makes it unique. And I mean, yeah, you're not going to forget that you saw this. And sometimes, <laughs> like later on, you're going to yeah. be going, That's that fucking movie. That, yes. yeah. I will always remember this movie. Sometimes yeah. when people try to do different vampire movies, that fucking goes horrible. Like, yeah. Because yeah. it gets too, like, Well, fuck, that's not a vampire. Or, yeah. You know. And just, you have to, it, you do have to go with the grain of salt that it is a product of its time. It's pacing. I think it is, European. yeah, it's, yep. it's, you know, at the time that was acceptable. Now we want things a little faster. So, I mean, you have to adjust to that, but I think it still does. It still delivers a, uh, very satisfactory cinematic experience. Well, you know what? I'm going to, re- I saw the dots in between. I'm going to revert my recommendation. Very- I'm, I'm going to recommend Travis's 87 minute version of this <laughs> film when it comes out. I want to Dude, see. Dude, I, I tell you, I know Please, exactly what scenes to cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you two years. That's yeah, trademarked. Uh, all right, so that's Travis. Daughters of Darkness. That's it. So I think we all recommended it. Four yeah. out of that's four. That's right, four yeah, out of four yeah. again. Hey, Holy shit. shit. Yeah. Wow. Good streak. All right, I'm actually surprised by that because this one was kind of iffy. You got to understand, going into it, I'm like, I don't know how this one's going to go. <laughs> four out of four. I think the discussion t- helped in this movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think discussion <laughs> helped this movie. Because right after the movie, it was like, no. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> but they gave you a lot to discuss. Yeah, know? right. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, they yeah. gave it to you. There was yeah. some something to chew on. Because a lot of it times it is a I'm... meal. It is not yeah. just candy. Yeah, we it just digested it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there and you now go. we'll shit it out. <laughs> <laughs> and never talk about it ever again. We never had this experience of watching this movie. So next <laughs> week is Travis's movie pick. What's it going to be? Out of the rust and out of the slime. Everybody knows that he's here for mankind, the Toxic Avenger. <laughs> there you go. It's the Toxic Avenger on sharp as hell Blu-ray, I'm assuming. Yeah, on Blu-ray for the first time ever. Ooh. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Because even <laughs> DVD copies were like, this is cleaned up, all right? All right. <laughs> sure. If you say so. Heavy grain. <laughs> well, Blu-ray sharpened like grain. Tape. Maybe. Maybe they cleaned <laughs> it all up. sharp grain. Yeah, so that's I, next week. I can see the grain very clearly. <laughs> that was yeah, my experience with Young Frankenstein. I was like, whoa, oh, really? that movie is a grainy, grainy movie. Black and white. Oh, but uh, yeah, so that's next week on the Saturday Night Free Show. And until then, you can find us on your usual uh, podcast hangouts, iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and about a dozen Stray more. Cast We're everywhere. What is it? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, Cast, cast Roller, cast. Player FM. I think even that's wrong. We're <laughs> everywhere. That you want us to be, and places you don't want us to be, right? And let's not go there, but we're coming there. I think the so podcast is starting to go. Wow. Away. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna Just do. We'll we're, end. We're, we're, we're there. Gonna, wait, we're gonna do four endings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four. Okay. Here's the new one. <laughs> this uh, podcast is over. I'll-